Hey everybody. So, tonight I took out a ship that I haven't taken out in a very, very long time. That is my Seattle. Uh, Seattle is the American Tier 9 light cruiser. I actually don't play it that often. Um, since I got the DM Donsky and um, a few other cruisers. Uh, and it's. It's not a really enjoyable ship to play. reason for that is it's got a really, really good rate of fire. But the problem is the awkward rear turrets. Um, and as you'll see, they're swinging around now. But you really, uh, you can't angle. You almost have to go almost 40, 40 degrees before you can get them into play. Um, and some of the other cruisers, especially with the lighter guns, 155s, 180s, like on the Donsky, you don't have to get those um, angles before you can get the guns into play. Uh, it is made out of tissue paper, wet tissue paper. Um, therefore, it's, it's, it's a hardship to play. You really, really have to do your standard island hopping. Um, and everything punches through you. Um, I think a eight-month-old baby with a rattle could probably punch dents into this thing's hull. Um, that said, even with IFHC and uh, two uh, um, flags, I really, really struggle to get fires going to, uh, tonight on this thing. Anyway, so... Um, Two battleships and a cruiser in the sea line. I'm obviously heading for the shelter of an island, like you do in uh, most uh, American cruisers. And I don't want to fire first, because if that Montana decides uh, that I am to be the uh, object of its affection, things would go very bad. But I see him firing and uh, decide, all right, well, time to start sending shells. Mm. And then a cruiser pops up at 12 kilometers. That's not good. So that's a French, I think it's a Charles Martel, tier 8. Um, it's got 203s, can do a bit of damage, but look at that. Five penetrations and 11 uh, shatters. Um, and this is, this, is, this is aiming for the deck of the Montana. So... Uh, big reason why I chose to play the Seattle tonight was it is a mission in that I have to do 250 hits with uh, main batteries on other ships. Sorry, a real itch in my eye. Um, 250 hits with your main batteries and I was playing my Helena earlier um, and then the Seattle. So choosing everything that's got a fast rate of fire um, and it just says you have to hit doesn't matter if it's penetration or shatters or something, you just have to hit. So I'm trying to work this Montana as much as I can. I had one fire start. Um, he put that fire out. Uh, and now I am struggling. Look at that, 14 penetrations and 14 non-penetrations. Oh, sorry, there wasn't a uh, Charles Mattel, there was a St. Louis, there was a tier 9 Frenchie. forgot about that. Oops, sorry bud. Uh, surprise, there's a destroyer here. That's never a good thing. Destroyers are very, very unpleasant. Um, you know what's really good about high tier cruiser gameplay? Radar. Notice he disappeared? I'm using surveillance radar. Notice he appeared again? <laughs> Oh man, I'm not a radar fan. So obviously now he's radared and he decides that um, he's been called a priority target. And a lot of people are shooting at him, so he decides that getting getting out of dodge is a good idea. By the way, if you're wondering, this is not a high damage gameplay. This is not a Kraken gameplay. This is just me playing the Seattle. So anyway, we are three ships up on them. I've only done 22,000 damage, but we've got three cruisers killed on their side. Um, 
and the buffalo comes in and he uses his, his surveillance radar. Obviously mine's on cooldown and I don't particularly bother with putting premium uh, radar on this. I don't use it often enough. I mean there's like one destroyer on each uh, on each team. So the moment he's taken care of, there's not a lot that can uh, look at us. Um, and I notice just the other side of B, there is a total clusterfuck of ships bouncing each other. Okay, well, time to farm the damage, and I'm trying to kite a little bit. I'm detected. A uh, little bit worried about, I think that's an Iowa, if I remember. <coughs> no, Iowa's guns can citadel me and send me back to port in one go. Not a pleasant experience. Yes. Um, and he's got a Cleveland with him for support. Now, Cleveland at tier 6 used to be a beast. Um, strange enough, with my small channel, uh, the video that I got with the most dislikes has been the, the video I made with the Cleveland in the ranked sprint gameplay. I got a couple of dislikes there. I have an idea people don't like the Cleveland very much. Anyway, I'm trying to work some uh, damage on that battleship over there, but for every penetration is literally almost two non-penetrations um, but the damage numbers are slowly rolling and I'm at 40,000 damage and again as I said before um, my golden rule for a successful game is doing my ship's HP and damage it means I've contributed and that's before repair because you can easily get completely and utterly Citadel, I had a game earlier in my DM Donsky where I just got fucking obliterated. Um, 48,000 damage on a 43,000 HP ship. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it. I am very surprised that he hasn't taken a shot at me yet. Um, I've got a fire going and he puts down the fire and there's an ARP to cow. Now he has to choose between shooting the Hero Peter Cow and the Seattle and I remember. Um, I did that movie on the, uh, that video on the Hero Peter Cow and ooh, 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 shells incoming, shells incoming, this is gonna hurt. See what I mean? From 43,000 HP to 26,000 HP in one nasty salvo. But now he's dead. And, and and this is a big part again why I don't really play the Seattle that often. I, I do need to grind through it. Um, obviously to get to the tier 10, I think it's the Worcester. Uh, the Buffalo's got the Des Memes or Des Moines. Or Des Memes as everybody calls it. But we've lost one cruiser to them literally having five ships left. So speaking of it as memes, I think that's one trying to get out of uh, out of dodge there. A spot of Montana that's got uh, quite a bit of HP still left. And uh, okay, well, ooh, the Lexington bombs are ARP to Carl. And while I decide to make a sharp right turn here, ooh, Rushlo into our Vladivostok. It's a trade, so it's four to sure. Okay, this is a really, really hard wipe. <sighs> Coffee is good. Alright, as I come around the corner, I spot Mr. Montana, and uh, they're asking me to radar. So I shall oblige and use radar. Oh, there's a. Uh, not the Seattle. There's the Cleveland hiding behind a rock there. Oh. <clears throat> I'm hitting some islands here. Can't get quite the elevation on the guns. And I know what this guy is thinking immediately. Seattle sailing broadside. I've got to get a shot at him. If he can get his guns trained far enough, then uh, I'm going to be in a world of hurt. And angle away, and thankfully, I managed to just dodge most of that uh, there's the enemy Cleveland fire a few shots at him only two cruisers left on the enemy team for penetrations 60 59,000 damage almost 60,000 damage left I've done 
it's it's all right. It's not a brilliant game, uh, but I do I do struggle with the Seattle. And there's the Cleveland with his Cleveland camo. And there was the Cleveland with his Cleveland camo. And boom, match is done. Sixty-one and a half thousand. Oh, I got a combat mission. Cool. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, not a particularly good match in the Seattle, but uh, shows you how good she can be. She can be decent. Um, I don't play her often enough. Obviously, as you can see, she's quite weak. She takes a citadel like nobody's business. Um, but yeah, interesting gameplay. I don't think I featured the Seattle before. Uh, Anyway, if you want me to try and play the Seattle and the higher tier cruises a bit more, let me know on the channel, and uh, we will speak soon. Cheers.